real quick before we start the video we're starting a thing we're starting a thing are you ready for this let me show you this right here is a sticky is a is a pad of sticky notes i found it in my drawer and here's my idea for every person that subscribes and follows my Instagram and DMs me proof, I will draw a picture of you. And you can send me the picture you want me to draw. It could be of a dog, I don't care, okay? Send me, send, DM me a picture um, and I will draw you and I will put your little at down there or your name or whatever if you want. I mean, you, it's really open for interpretation, whatever. I'm trying to bump those numbers up, okay? We're at uh, like 700, 50 subscribers more or less and i'm tr really trying to hit a thousand so we're doing goofy shit like this now all right yeah guys subscribe follow my instagram link down in the description uh dm me a picture of you and i'll draw you and i'll put it on the wall back there i'll put it on the backdrop and it's gonna look sick hey what's going on guys welcome back you know the drill it says welcome on my back whatever that's beside the point all right guys enough yapping do you remember Skibbity Toilet? Once Skibbity Toilet hit like the public eye, most people like sort of started to learn about it and realize what was going on. Everybody my age felt so old because there's just this whole like sensational media hit going on with younger kids that we just had no idea about. I had no idea that Skibbity Toilet existed until it got to like, you know, unheard of levels of popularity. It would be like if there was a, a professional sports league, it seems like everybody knew except for you. That's what it felt like. I bring that up because I'm kind of going through a similar situation right now. I'm a high school graduate. I'm not going to college. I'm only really working and making YouTube videos. So sometimes I can feel a little bit out of the loop and especially because I, I am getting kind of old. I mean, I'm 19. I'm not getting like old, old. I mean, I'm like becoming an adult, like where trends go to die, basically. <laughs> what I was wondering about is what are 15 year olds into? What, what kind of memes are they looking at on Instagram? And that's the point of this video. I employed my brother as my content curator, which is really just a fancy way of saying that I barged into his room and forced him to save like 10 or so Instagram reels for me to watch for a video. The results should be pretty interesting. I have the messages open on my computer and we're about to go through it together and watch it, but I haven't seen any of these. It's gonna be a blind walkthrough and I'm gonna be doing it with you guys. Are you guys ready? Cause I'm freaking pumped, man. Let's do this. Gary, don't follow me, oh no, oh no. Gary, no. You're in charge of arts and crafts, right? <laughs> No, but you're in charge of arts and crafts, right? You're doing this for public uh, production, right? <laughs> no, what the f did I just watch? <laughs> I just recently changed up my hair. It kind of, it's less work. I kind of like it like this. If trends keep up with current hairstyles being like down and like in your face, bro, this is what we're going to be looking like, man. I'm not looking forward to that. I don't like getting older. The <laughs> Existentialism seems to be like a common theme in this video. Bro, I'm sorry. I got to see him boogie it down one more time. <laughs> How did he do that, bro? I gotta, I gotta try this. What did he even do, bro? <laughs> bro couldn't wait. I don't get it. I'm getting old, man. All right. Moving on, I guess. I've seen this trend. It's where people like try and cover up their fart by like making a loud noise. Like they're dropping a book or like coughing or something like that. It never works. If you're gonna fart, just own it, man. Hey, if you have it mastered, I'm not saying stop. Sometimes a cold like, <coughs> If you can pull that off, keep doing that shit. I'm gonna drop this book to like cover it up. <laughs> see, see, this guy's got it, bro. He farted and he didn't let anybody stop him from doing what he wanted to do, which in that moment was just rip some. 
can never go wrong with some good old-fashioned fart jokes i like the name of this too it's fart vibes we were talking in the last video about ice skate official that's cringe fart vibes and that's a good instagram name even if i wasn't an account that posted fart videos i would rock an account with the name fart vibes next video <laughs> and i went up to her and i just went thank you my lady <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it freaked her out <laughs> Shut up! Not in the mood now. <laughs> That's not a good one. I'm not putting that in the video. Bro. It costs zero dollars to be kind, as if free a hater ain't being too. Is this supposed to make sense? It costs zero dollars to be kind, as if being a hater ain't free too. I figured it out. I'm definitely gonna have to call my brother in here to explain the Fortnite one to me though. Yo, what the f Bro, I get water for five f seconds and then you're in here recording on my on my thing hey guys welcome back Owen what did you do <laughs> you got the ring light in the frame hey post editing Abe cut to the clip where I messed up his, his <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna fuck up his setup all right y'all so uh I w there was one meme that I was a little bit confused on and I needed to call in my brother here you already know me all right. my name's your diary but we're gonna go ahead and, and watch it again um, and he's going to explain it to us. So, he gets in the car and then gets right out of the car to go into the woman dancing place. Yeah, yeah. Is that the whole joke? Well, listen, listen. No, you didn't. Hang on. All right. So, basically, if y'all don't play GTA, that right there is the, the club where the woman danced. What's funny is he couldn't wait. He's sprinting into the club because he's like so excited. He's getting giddy. Like like in his chair, his <laughs> legs giddy. are shaking. His... But that's that's why I thought it was funny. Clearly, Abe didn't understand. <laughs> I didn't but, get it, bro. You know, I thought that one was pretty good. I thought the other ones were pretty funny too. Shall we watch some more? I will say the one that I didn't think was very funny, this one right here. <laughs> I went up to her and I just went, Thank you, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it freaked her out. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> bro, bro it's <laughs> funny because you're like, you're in the room, bro. Uh, I just thought it was funny the way he said, shut up. And it's kind of real. Sometimes you're hanging out with someone and then randomly you're like, shut up! Next, Next meme. meme. That was so f stupid. Was so <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Damn it, stupid! Stupid! <laughs> <laughs> Get ready with me to get out of the bed and change the sheets because I wet the bed again. Okay? <laughs> Having a perfectly nice dream. I wake up out of it, feel around. Wow, I feel kind of warm. I think my place just warm. Nope, freaking wet the bed again. <laughs> and I'm just sitting here ticked off and I'm sitting in it because I'm just... Because I'm punishing myself. <laughs> sitting here just punishing myself. And make myself sit in it so I can learn my lesson. Okay, I like this guy. I think he's really funny, but I don't like how breaking character is like a part of his whole thing that yeah, he does. That's that fair. like like when he like smiles and looks away from the camera, like it just it seems kind of forced to me. Personally, not gonna say fuck it. Do I say names? Because you know someone that pissed the bed or what? Bro, oh my god. <laughs> She'd have sleepovers at every single one of my friends' house. And every single time, there ends up being a wet bed. But <laughs> but instead of owning up to it and being like, yeah, I have a condition. Like, I'm really sorry, guys. I can help wash the sheets. She blames it on on any pets that the person have, even if they don't have a pet. There was, there was a situation where she said, it was probably your dog. This girl didn't even have a dog. <laughs> this, that, that's just a situation. And I saw that video and it reminded me of that. I'm like, oh, that was... Fun little joke in my in my life. Next. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a copyright strike. You know the deal. Uh, party dance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then there's a guy in the background going like, "Yo, get it." Uh, 
Yeah, look at those dance moves. Y'all wish you had dance moves. Phineas and Ferb, bro. Oh, what's the vegan teacher? The vegan teacher. That's right. And bro, she's been already made fun of on the internet so much that I don't feel bad about making fun of her because one little like 700 subscriber channel is not going to make that much of a difference, bro. And I love how you can hear the dude talking in the background. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's I've, been a class. Getting, I've been getting these videos where it's like when, when you're in a, a kindness competition and your opponent doesn't show up because they want you to win. You know what I hate, bro? Huh. When you show up to a curiosity competition and your opponent is a cat. <laughs> I was thinking of f***ing Curious George, bro. That would've been so much more fun. Bro, you know what I hate? Huh. When you're in a curiosity competition and your opponent is a monkey. Don't say it. Named George. <laughs> <laughs> You look like Curious George. Bro, you're one to Bates. talk. You look like you look like every single redhead in every single cartoon ever produced. I don't want to hear it. Dude, has anyone else noticed in the new Fortnite wait, season whenever wait. you jump out of the battle bus? I made dinner. Uh, yes, dude. And I figured we could use the TV stand, stand as, as a dinner table. table. Yes, bro. I'll grab some plates. Wait, and, um, Yo, did you ever do the dishes? How have you not done them yet? It's been a long week, okay? How have you not had time? You don't even have a job, Mr. Gap here. Well, now what? Five second rule. No, dude, it's already been five seconds. Let's just hit McDonald's. Okay, fine. <laughs> Yo, can I get Sir, a- you need to be in a car to order. <laughs> Yo, can I get a time machine? Dude, they're not gonna have anything it. else. You want anything? <laughs> Ever since what? the pandemic, you've been acting weird. <laughs> Thanks. I know. Bro, what are you doing? We're going back in time to when? To right before that pizza hit the ground. <laughs> Five second rule. Dude, you're a genius. Thanks. <laughs> that was a good one. <clears throat> but I will say with these guys I Thoroughly enjoyed the first like few videos that I yeah. saw by them. I like one another one comes up I'm like, oh, I feel obligated to like it like, you know, it's funny And then like they just keep showing up and it's like they're long and I don't have that kind of time or attention span So I don't know I kind of stopped watching them because I think they're sponsored by like barstool sports now or something Actually, like that Yeah, and like, like they're next level like I know dude, but like I don't know. It seems like they're just kind of doing it to do it. You know, there's no joy in it anymore. There's no passion. Does that make sense? What What were you doing? I feel like I feel like at, at the end of the day, if they want money, like they're gonna do anything. Personally, my Instagram reels consists of majority of three things. One of them is any sort of like skate content. By the way, y'all should watch Abe's last video on skate content. Second is motorcycles or cars running from the cops the videos i was sent to abe is the like quick short funny ones with an occasional one that i actually see and i i'm laughing at it like in class out loud but that's that's basically what my instagram reels consist of okay cool man all right mike i'm kidding i'm kidding oh, i'm kidding, I'm okay, kidding, I'm was, kidding we have two because you had a two one two two we had two two of the two one twos one of them we donated to two goodwill no we didn't <laughs> Okay. You're done. Go do your work. Go do your work. Go do your work. What have we learned today? Well, we learned that um, Gen Z humor spans all kinds of different ranges because I am a Gen Z myself. My my reels, they're not totally different from his, but there definitely is like that slight difference in content that we get. Send me reels. Maybe I'll react to them along with the post-it note thing that I was talking about earlier. Oh, that was kind of cold. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope I got that on camera, bro. <sighs> alright, Owen. Go do your work, alright? Bro, come on. <laughs> He's still flinched. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. And you can subscribe to me right here. Check out this video right here. Or this video right here. Have a good day. Bro, that was the most NPC. Like, have a good, have a good day, guys.